The sounds of high school football are back. Today is day one of high school football practice in Illinois. Hello, Central Illinois. We're reporting today from Metamora football practice today, day one throughout the state of Illinois. Last fall, the sounds of silence. No high school football in the fall. Today, a great day to be back on the fall football field, getting ready for a nine week season, hopefully with fans, the band, the cheerleaders, everybody back for what everyone hopes is a normal football season. And I mean, last year was kind of lackluster, only four games. We know we had to miss two, but it feels good to be back out here. Hopefully we can have a full season. It's just exciting. I can't explain it any other way. I'm just excited for this season. I'm excited for the nine games we got. Great excitement today for day one of high school football practice. Also day one of our Central Illinois football tour. We're going to be doing two days, two previews every day. Tonight at 10, we'll look at Peoria High. Right now, the fresh new voice, the fresh new leader at El Paso Gridley. Behind that COVID mask is the new face of El Paso Gridley football, a very young face. Tanner Benedict is the rookie head coach at El Paso Gridley. Just six years ago, he was scoring touchdowns for the Titans. Feels like just yesterday you were out here playing, and so um, to be out here, you know, with a whistle around your neck now is certainly a little different. Um, there's a lot of inexperience, you know, you certainly know that coming into it, but um, very thankful for the opportunity and. Uh, we have a great staff who's been uh, put around me. The El Paso Gridley Titans are all very familiar with Tanner. They were cheering for him a few years ago. Now he's their head coach and they say his youth and his hometown experience will be a big boost for the Titans. I see it as a good thing because it's someone who brings energy, someone who grew up here in El Paso Gridley and went to school here. And so he kind of brings an aspect of community and kind of, I mean, we've all known him growing up in this community. We've all been around him forever. So he's a, well-respected person. And Benedict was a star on playoff Titan teams. He hopes to bring excitement and winning football back to his alma mater starting this fall. Today I begin my 35th year covering high school football. Tanner Benedict just turned 24. <laughs> I'm getting ridiculously old. And getting old is also the way high school volleyball players feel about wearing masks again. Indoors, you must wear a mask, just like the volleyball kids did last spring. We are feeling pretty excited because this summer we didn't really wear masks. And then, like a couple days before, they tell us we have to put them back on. But these girls were great about it in the spring. We'll stick with volleyball for today's Jim Dandy. Today's Jim Dandy is red, white, orange, and blue. How about Team 